This is my best-selling book. It has sold more than one lakh eighty thousand copies. Yeah, I myself find it very nice to know that it has sold one lakh eighty thousand copies. What is this book about? Is this book about retirement? Actually, no. This book is about creating a corpus for retirement. Retirement management or managing your money for retirement comes in two phases. Phase one is when you accumulate. Phase two, when you withdraw from that, this is meant for the person who is twenty-four to sixty and who is accumulating money for retirement. Now, the thing is, when I say retirement, people think so. Oh, some old man at sixty years of age uh, has to be worried about this. Answer is no. First of all, retirement is in many stages. A uh, twenty-four-year-old girl or a twenty-six-year-old girl could take a three-year break for having a kid. That is a temporary retirement. A 19-year-old girl could just stop uh, doing gymnastics because she's retired from that profession. Sure, the others, her age, have not even thought which profession to go to, and she's already retired from career one. I'm sure she will go for some higher studies, something else she will do, and maybe she will become a doctor or a financial planner or something like that, and have a second career. And that career could go on till she's 65 or maybe 68. Now a guy could take a break at 45 to look after his parent. That be a three-year break. Now all these small breaks which you take in life, some voluntary, some involuntary, these are all temporary retirements. Of course, finally once you will retire at 60 or 65 or 70, depending on your profession. For example, a cricketer retires maybe at 40 or maybe even at 35. For somebody, it is planned. They know that they are retired and they are retiring, and they know that they will not play after that. But for some younger players who have would have played their game at the age of 28 or 32, and suddenly for four years they don't get a chance, and they suddenly realize that at 32 they are already retired. So this is kind of compulsory retirement. where you don't get a chance to play in the highest level you could then play some lower level games you could do a coaching assignment and things like that but you're no longer earning the top money right so retirement can come at any time and it come as a surprise it can come as a shock but nobody can really say i didn't know i had to retire everybody has to retire right so if you are in employment you know that your retirement age is 60 give or take 5 years I have a friend working in uh, Singapore, and he just had his 50th birthday, and he tells me that he is the fourth oldest person in the banking profession in Singapore, which means there are only three people above the age of 50 in Singapore in banking, and that's scary, right? So you don't know at what age you will have to retire, and so you need to be prepared for retirement. What all do you need to do for retirement? You need to have a retirement plan, and before that, you have to have a financial plan because you're 24 and you're starting. you obviously need to have your plan for your marriage for your children for buying a house buying a car right you need to put all that in place so this book takes you through all that and it is not substitute for an advisor you will still need an advisor because i tell you how to look for funds but specifically which fund will suit you at what age and what tactical changes you should make should you be in liquid fund should you be in uh, so ultra short bond fund these are very subtle changes which might be required where you may not know it's nothing wrong not knowing so you may need an advisor but going forward over 4 5 years you may learn how to do it after that you're fine you could do it on your own you when to buy a house how much should you borrow for buying a house the market really encourages you to borrow 90% but it may not make economic sense for you to borrow 90% you may have a specific job worry for example now if you're working in the uh, airline industry or in the hotel industry next 2 3 months for your life looks little uncertain about from where you're going to get the money so the importance of an emergency fund where to keep the emergency fund how much of uh, insurance to take how much of medical insurance to take these are all small things this book is very generic it is it tells you how to do all this how to create your wealth how to write your uh, investment to, statement how to make your philosophy statement how to make your retirement philosophy statement right we talk about all those things so broadly so who should buy look at the title it says retire rich invest rupees 40 a day rupees 40 a day is not meant for the 60 year old it is obviously meant for the 22 year old well if you are a very caring parent and you have started this uh, mutual fund for your kid maybe when the kid was zero or when the kid was 1 year old some people do right you could be quite surprised but there are people who do then that kid 
gets a head start that by the time he's uh, 18, maybe he already has 50 lakhs or 60 lakhs in his fund and then which means by the time he's 25, he's more than a crore. So by the time he is uh, going to be 60, he would have maybe 10 crores in his portfolio, maybe he'll have 15 crores in his portfolio and by just investing 40 rupees a day. Okay, let us say we increase it to 40 rupees a day and from 40 rupees every year it will go to go up by 10%. So 44, 48, 52. What happens if it increases by 10% every year? Oh, the amount almost triples. So if you would have saved something like 4 crores, suddenly you have something like 13 crores, more than triple, right? So just by a 10% increase, you get a 300% increase in the corpus because compounding is the power of N, the number of years for which you have invested. So if your grandfather or great grandfather had invested 200 years ago, even just 100 rupees today, it would be worth maybe 2000 crores, right? That's the kind of number it can happen in 200 years, provided you did not interrupt the compounding, provided you did not touch that money for doing something else. So the most important thing is plant a tree, have patience, don't cut the tree. There will be a lot of uh, rumors, oh, coronavirus, you need to cut the tree, right? Don't cut the tree. Your tree will continue to yield mangoes. You have no clue how many mangoes you're going to get, right? One mango can yield a million mangoes going forward. That's the power of compounding. Don't get into kitna return milega, kya milega. It doesn't really matter how much returns you get. As long as you keep investing, There'll be one year when you get minus 20%. Look at the current last week, uh, the market fell by 13% in one day, right? These things will happen. But if you build assiduously over a long period of time, even at 8%, 12%, 14%, you will create wealth, right? Remember the saying, Rome was not built in a day. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were destroyed in a day. So one bad news and it will look like, oh my God, the world is over. Right? We all think through, no, no such thing. It's a question of you build brick by brick. That's very boring and it is, but it does create wealth for you. Occasionally, there will be a Nagasaki bombing, Hiroshima bombing, which will look like your portfolio is wiped out. Yes, it will happen. You will have a 10% fall or a 13% fall. Remember, you will also have one year where you get 40% return. But minus 13% in one day can be followed by a plus 40% in the next year. We have no clue, right? This book helps you build your portfolio over long periods of time and create wealth for you so that you can retire when you want. You can tell your boss when you're 52, I am not coming from tomorrow. This is the wealth that you're creating for yourself. Remember, wealth gets created over generations and over decades. Don't be in a hurry. A slow journey in the right direction is far more important than a very fast run in the wrong direction. As long as you get your direction right, you're creating your wealth, you're creating your retirement corpus, you're creating wealth for retiring. Hey, what more do you want? How to remove money for retirement is not covered in the book. This book is not meant for people who are already retired. This is meant for those people who are creating a corpus, which means if you're 22, up till the age of 45, 50, maybe till 60, this book will help you create the corpus. After that, how to withdraw? That's not covered in this book that we will cover separately. Thank you.